My name is Tony Quigley, I'm a former British Super Middleweight Champion and former England International. I had over 100 amateur fights and I think I've currently had 16 professional. Um, I think it was the fact that I was, uh, I seemed to be good at it. I think uh, uh, anything that was combat I was, I was, I took to it pretty well, you know. I started me, uh, I started off a show to kind of karate, so you know that that made me a, a, a discipline, and uh, I just kicked on from there really, and I, and then I ended up enjoying other types of contact sports. Um, you need to you need to believe in your own ability. That's that's your main thing, and if, if you don't believe in your own ability, you don't know whether it's going to. Uh, you don't know whether you know whether you can succeed in, 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 in a fight, then there's no point getting in the ring because you're defeated before you even get in the ring. Well, there's, it, 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 that covers a wide range of things. You know, we've got mental toughness to say no to your mates about going to town. You've got mental toughness about getting yourself up in the morning to go for your run or not to eat the, the foods that can put weight on you, you know, and you've also got, you know, the, the, the types of mental toughness while you're in a fight and, t and it's getting tough, and you're being able to uh, stay stay focused and concentrate on your task and your uh, game plan while, while it might be going your own way. It's, it's tough making weight, you know, you go from eating whatever you want when you want to suddenly a strict routine, time, time scale and a, a diet plan, you know, you, 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 you crave things on a diet that you don't normally crave, so it's, it's tough and the f it's, it's one of them, if you stick to your diet and you do well, by the time you get to your fight, you, you are mentally stronger for it because you know you haven't cut no corners and you can actually focus on your fight and, and the positive things instead of thinking about the negative things like cutting corners on your diet. See, people react off different things. People need to, need to be shouted at, or people need a word in the ear. You know, I'm the type of person who needs to be spoken to, not shouted at in the gym, because I react better off to someone speaking to me instead of shouting advice. Um, but there's only so much a coach can really do. Because at the end of the day, it's it's all down to you yourself. You know, your coach can give you the advice. He can try and help you, but you've you've got to deal with it in your own mind and. Uh, and make sure what whatever you need to do on the night comes out in, in, in the plan. Well, uh, first of all, getting the phone call to say, asking me if I want to fight for the British title was the biggest high you could get. And then uh, and the next thing is, after, after that, after the initial high, you start thinking, well, I've never went past six rounds before, how am I going to be doing 12? Uh, especially against someone like Tony Dodson, who's always well prepared for a fight and can do the twelve round distance. So, but you know, it's it's one of them things you don't know you can do until you actually get in there and do it. Do the twelve round distance, but I suppose your your, your mindset's got to be focused on the positive that you're fighting for a business title, and you know, if you believe in your own ability, you you can win. There's, there's two things that come of it. The first thing is, you know, there's good, there's good response to, from the city. You know, everyone backs the fighter, and you know, there's a good vibe around town, and you know, you're fighting in the Echo Arena, and everything's going well. You know, and you're preparing for your fight. And then the other side of it, it's the pressure and stress of literally having the whole city watch you and judging you, and basically whatever movie you make, they're watching. And then you've got to be able to turn up on the night in front of all of them and perform on the night, which it, it, it is, even though it is enjoyable and I wouldn't change it, there is a, 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 a lot of stress and a tension put on your shoulders uh, in a situation like that. Um, the further away you are, the less you think about it, and the closer, the closer you get to the fight, the more you start thinking about, you know, game plans and scenarios and 
you know, what shots to throw, and like you, you could you could be up all night thinking about about the fight. You, the best thing for me personally was I like to switch off about it and not think about it because I didn't want to burn all my nervous energy up planning the fight because I, I was I wasn't getting the rest I needed because I was too busy thinking about the fight itself. So I think uh, I think everyone everyone does deals with it in different ways, but my way was I'd, I'd like to turn off and like start thinking about it the minute I was walking into the ring. <laughs>I've never, I've never felt that feel. After when I fought Smith, I never felt that feeling of pressure in my entire life. As I walked out from the ring, walk into the ring, I literally felt the weight of the Echo Arena on my shoulders. I did. I know to be honest with you, it shocked me a bit because I never felt that type of like tension in the air. It was really, it was, it was a new feeling for me, and it took me a couple of minutes to, 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 to I'd say. Uh, Control me emotions because you know the part of me wanted to go like really like up for the fight and then but I wanted to relax because it's a twelve round fight and you know you, you can't blow all your energy on your ring walk <laughs> you've got to uh, do it sensibly so but once you got in the ring and like once you step through them ropes it's 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 business time then so you just sort of concentrate on the fella in front of you but like I said there, there, there was that much like uh, tension and excitement in the air it was hard not to get involved with it all. You know, it's a twelve-round fight, a marathon. You know, you 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 go in all sights up and you you tense and you're building up all your nervous energy, and then the bell goes. You come out and you you're loading up on your shots. You're trying to knock the lad out, and then you run out of energy. It, it no matter how fit you are, you run out of energy. So you need to control your feelings and 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 really not think with your heart, but think with your brain, and and control what you have. What shots you throw? Because every shot you throw can't be a knockout punch. There's got to be some lighter shots, and then you pick your shots which are going to be heavier, and then that helps you control how much fitness you use through the fight. But if you're not confident, it's probably the best chance you get in beat. You, you can never get in the ring when it's a one-on-one -on -one combat sport and not be confident in your own ability. Because if you if you it's just gonna it's a recipe for a disaster that uh, you've got to you've got to get in the ring and, and believe in yourself 100 percent no matter who you're fighting where you're fighting how much how much days notice months notice you've had you've got to get in there and believe in your own ability and actually believe you can beat the person in front of you because if you don't believe that you beat before the fight even starts. Me. I've always performed better when I was more relaxed than before a fight. You know, if I was relaxed before a fight and in a happy mood, I've always boxed better. Now, if I was in a tense mood, and you see, you, I, I, I fought bad against Smith, but I fought with aggression instead of with my brain. I'm a, I, I like to use my brain in a fight, and I didn't perform well. So, if you're in a sport, you've got to be confident in your own ability. You've got to be able to. Stay relaxed and, 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 and be in control of yourself because the minute you lose control of yourself is the minute you lose your foothold in the fight.